Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. Hi, Tana. Do you want to go ahead and give me just an overview of what an IEP is and how they work? Yeah. So an IEP is an individualized educational program. And um, the document itself has a lot of pieces, but I think the most important thing to understand is its purpose. An IEP's purpose is to help your school team understand uh, the ways that your child is currently functioning. So what are the skills that they currently have? And those are called the present level skills. And how do those skills relate to what your child needs to be able to achieve in school, both academically and what they call functionally, which are the everyday self-care types of things that children need to be able to do to participate in school and be safe, healthy, et cetera. Um, so the IEP is going to lay out all of the steps that your team would like to take in order to help your child make that leap from what they're currently able to do to what they need to be able to do to function and excel in school. Uh, part of the ways that they do that, or one of the ways that they do that, is they set goals for your child. So you'll be very familiar with those as you go through your IEP. Um, but they also have other pieces of the IEP that are meant to support that uh, bridging that gap between what your child can do and what they need to be able to do. And two of those that are really important to think about are accommodations, which is what your team or your school would be willing to do to bring technology, support, and center it to an academic task to help your child be able to perform that task the same way that other children in the classroom with different abilities might perform it. The second one is modifications. And that's where when an accommodation isn't enough um, and your school team may think, well, we need to actually lower the expectation of this task. We need to work on a different skill um, or we need to work on a different set of skills because uh, your child is at a different level and needs to be achieving something that is a, a little bit lower than maybe some of the other children that are in their class. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.